test logic. After watching this presentation, you will be able to uh, indicate what are the mandatory and also some of the optional boundary scan instructions and also to explain how each mandatory instruction affects the operation of the test logic and uh, what happens when the new instruction is loaded and how this uh, process is able to inform us about the integrity of the boundary scan chain. So the first instruction that we will look at is called external test and this is the uh, main boundary scan instruction that is used for uh, board testing. Uh, external test selects the boundary scan register as the uh, path between TDI and TDO and uh, the uh, boundary scan cells are placed in an operating mode that isolates the pins from the core logic so the output multiplexer will be connected as shown here when external test is loaded into the um, instruction register the cells will be used to drive values at their uh, output terminals so uh, input cells will drive the inputs of the core logic and output cells will drive the output pins of the device the um, external test instruction will uh, as you may recall from the uh, controllability mode of operation when we looked into the uh, circuit of the basic boundary scan cells the um, capture shift states will alternate between capture and shift meaning that uh, we will drive a test vector then we will capture the test responses and then shift out but while this sequence takes place, the uh, output stages will always be in controllability mode as shown here. Uh, sample and preload are um, currently two different instructions, but in the beginning they were one uh, single instruction called um, sample slash preload. And uh, these two instructions are actually very similar. They both select the boundary scan register and the boundary scan cells are placed in a transparent mode so uh, the output multiplexer will be connected as shown here. Um, sample addresses the uh, capture of the values present at the uh, input pins and preload addresses the, uh, as the name indicates, the uh, preloading of a, a test pattern into the um, output uh, cells. Uh, in, in both cases the uh, uh, input multiplexer will again be able to alternate between capture and shift. Finally the uh, last mandatory instruction is uh, as you already know uh, bypass. Bypass is uh, the instruction selecting the uh, bypass register which uh, is the one bit um, register that you can place between TDI and TDO to uh, shorten the data path in those circuits that uh, do not play any role in the current test operations. The, uh, notice that the boundary scan cells will operate in transparent mode as shown here so the uh, uh, output multiplexer will be connected to its upper input. This is actually the operating mode that is selected by default so when you power up the circuit every boundary scan cell will uh, start up to operate in this mode and the instruction registers will uh, automatically load the bypass instruction uh, selecting bypass register between TDI and TDO. From the um, um, optional instructions I will just refer uh, RunBeast and ID code. RunBeast is the run built-in self-test optional instruction and uh, uh, it may be supported in the case of uh, very complex devices where it is important to support built-in self-test functions. The uh, identification code uh, when supported places an identification uh, register in the data path enabling uh, the test engineer to scan out a 32-bit pattern identifying the device and its manufacturer and additional information. 
before concluding, I would like to uh, say a few words about um, what happens when uh, you shift in an instruction. Um, actually, when you are shifting in a new instruction, the sequence of ones and zeros that goes through this structure is not seen by the decoder because the instruction register, in much the same way as it happens with the boundary scan register, is uh, composed by a set of cells that have a shift stage and a latch stage. And the latch stage holds the previous instruction in the output of the register. So the decoder always sees the previous instruction while we are shifting in a new instruction. Now, if, if we shift in an illegal instruction, the standard requires that the decoder will take it by default as the bypass instruction. And last but not least, an important uh, feature to refer is that uh, the test access port controllers we have already referred is a small finite state machine that comprises various states, one of them called capture instruction register. And when we go through this state, the instruction register captures a given pattern which it scans out while we shift in a new instruction. So when we start to shift in a new instruction, the instruction register will automatically at the same, star, at the same time start to shift out this pattern that has been captured when going through this state. And this pattern, according to the standard, shall have the first bit shifted out as a 1 and the second bit as a 0. So, uh, the last two bits will be 0, 1, and the remaining bits may be defined by the device manufacturer. Now, the fact that the last two bits are 0, 1 means that we will shift out a 1 and then a 0, and this means that we will toggle the logic value that is present in every TDO to TDI interconnection. Now, if this connection is open, for example, then uh, one of these values will not go through. Actually, the zero will not go through since TDI has a pull-up re uh, resistor which uh, uh, dry, uh, enables it to capture a one when floating. So these uh, two last bits defined as zero one in the capture instruction register state enable us to uh, check the integrity of the boundary scan chain and every time that we shift in a new instruction we are able to see if the scan chain itself is working properly and this is actually the first stage in uh, every test session.